Let's try going to level two. Okay, let's look at the user interface again. Now, if you notice here, any view that has been open or at, that is currently in use at the moment, it will look slightly different from everything else. All right, it will be in bold here. So this is Revit's way of um, communicating to us that this is the current view that is in use and it's open right in front at the moment. And I want to share with you this portion here. Notice this section marker. Okay, this section marker, if you notice, everything else mostly are in black color, except for the markers here, it is in blue. So by default, anything that is in blue, there's a good chance when we double click on it, it opens up a view, all right? So what we can do is when we zoom in close enough, we will double click on the tip here, all right? Double click on the blue tip here. And once we do that, once we double click, we will call out the section view, all right? The section view that is referring to it on plan. Or alternatively, let me just close this off. Alternatively, we can go to this one. We can go to section one and double click on it. It does the same thing. It opens up the same section view. Okay, so the concept is pretty similar when we want to navigate around the project. All right, so let's say just now we were in level two. We can double click on level two to go back to the plan, the overall plan in level two again. Or we can also look here. This levels marker has a blue area here as well. We will be able to double click on it. We will be able to double click on it to open up the level two plan. With all these views open, we can click on these steps above here to see the various views within the project. However, there will be times of which we need to see these views in split four views, like we are in 3D Studio Max, for example. We can go to view, under the view tab here, under the view tab, we can click on tile views to split into the various views here, split four views, okay? And to see everything zoom up properly, we can use the Z A command so that we will be able to see everything, zoom all in this case. Or we can also go to the Tap views here to go back to the expanded mode. And we can use this button here to switch windows. I'm going to go back to tap views again to expand the views fully. Now, a little bit about zooming again. First of all, we can roll the needle mouse button what we call the MMB, we can go upwards to zoom in and downwards to zoom out. Or we can right click to click on a specific area, zoom in region, so we can draw it almost like a window in AutoCAD, so we can zoom in to a particular region. Or we can right click again to click on zoom up two times, so we zoom up twice as far away. And then the next one will be zoom to fit here. 
Now, please note, zoom to fit is also the shortcut ZA is also the same here. Yeah, it does the same thing, zoom to fit. When we need to navigate around the project after we have zoomed in, many a times we need to move around. So what we will do is we will hold the middle mouse button, the MMB, and then we will click and drag to be able to move around the project here, this way. And to orbit, many a times, on top of moving around, we also need to rotate the model to be able to see the model all around. So we will hold the shift key and the middle mouse button to rotate the view so that we can see it clearly. Okay, this one takes a little bit of practice, but after a while of using it, you will be very familiar and used to how Revit's navigation keys will work in general. Okay. 